Hmm. It's collecting a heap of biometric data. So while you're playing the game, someone at the other end is playing you. It's a recruitment tool. Hmm. Yeah. A recruitment for what? <laughs> What's going on, it's your boy Sister with the Intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? <laughs> Wagwan, brethren. We're going. Oh, wait a minute. That hit me with the. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting it. This is what happens when you have three body problems. You might be talking to people in different worlds and different dimensions. We got a different dimension version of Rakai. Hey, listen. <laughs> this has been an interesting show so far. It's definitely uh, got a lot of questions. Some people love it. Some people hate it. The reviews have been coming in. It's been back and forth. I'm wondering where you all stand. So make sure you stay to the end because me and Rakai are going to chop it up. Have a bit of a back and forth, a review, if you will, letting you know how we feel about it. So, without any further ado, let's get started. We have achieved the dooms. High level we dooms. Have the dooms. Mm -hmm. It's been a difficult mm -hmm. month at CERN. A half dozen projects suspended. Dr. Schmidt seemed to take it quite hard. Dang. Word? Mm -hmm. Face down in the tub? 32. No sign of struggle or forced entry. But sort of an odd suicide, huh? How can you even drown yourself like that? To die like that is is said to be impossible. Oh, well, because your body was gonna naturally like even when you're yes. unconscious. When the buddy well, tried it, he kept you in his head doctor? chopped off. Right, until That's he got invited. How does that even work? You take a lot of pills first. Now that that actually could work. Oh, if you just pass out in the tub. Yeah, if you took enough pills to dull all your senses and basically almost paralyze yourself into not fighting back mm -hmm. that that can actually work you were saying does that come back no it's gone along with my career <laughs> the way he looked at her <laughs> vodka cran shifted off a million of those last quarter so he's just a full-blown snack man didn't you take animal behavior with rick boyle please that was too much of a hard science snob still am well your loss Boy was the best teacher I ever had. Yeah, and science is in nature. He used to say that all birdsong boiled down to one of two things. It was either me, 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 or mate, mate, mate. <laughs> well, what about watching these little fellas? I'm enjoying watching them. Do you really have to know what they're doing to enjoy watching them do it? I feel that. Jack can pay for everything. <laughs> what do you think? We can get the fuck out of England. Go and explore the ways of the birds. Someday. He's like, listen, I got very few of those left, but tick, 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 tick. He, he, but he's not gonna tell her that. Oh no. Nah. Why is her just like he is though? Because well, I wouldn't think that she period. would. Yeah. Yeah, you but I think. Oh. Yoink! <laughs> You're not invited. I was in the fucking Middle Ages. Well, Tudor England. It's not quite. No, it's like all my senses were telling me that I was there. I could see a castle, and I... first off, why are you going through my stuff? Do not smell Henry the Eighth. That's nothing compared to the rehydrated people in level one. I just never thought I could get bored of nudity. <laughs> You're playing this? Dr. Year gave me Vera's. Vera was playing this game before she killed herself, and now you're playing it? <laughs> yes, not a coinky dink. Was this annoying brat that's constantly whining. Oh, save me, save me. Because you're supposed to save her, idiot. You're not. You're supposed to figure out how the sun moves. That she's there every time you play. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, come on, that's my girl right there. Gee, where did this come from? Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Right. That thing is hacking into right. your brain. You don't even want an Alexa in your house and you're playing with that. <laughs> oh. don't, don't, don't put it on. I'm not going to put it, it on. Exactly. Sword lady will just cut your head off as well. No invitation, no game. Who invited you? He don't know. He don't care. I just came home one night and it was right there. It's like crack, man. You know, you just give the first vial for free. It make you get addicted. I should put this on me head. Yep. I've got state-of-the-art security. Mm. I've been through every camera feed. There's no sign of anyone coming in or out. You don't think that's alarming? <laughs> yeah. Just like the woman who told me that the universe was going to blink at me? You can't compare this to unexplained cosmic phenomenon. It, it's just not the same thing. Except it kind of is. It kind of really? is, yeah. It really is. They're all virtual realities indistinguishable from actual reality. Mm -hmm. And boy genius is behind it. If it's a direct neural interface, it's controlling all sensory inputs and outputs. Mm -hmm. Everything that goes into your brain and everything that goes out. Mm -hmm. 
Vera wasn't herself. She wasn't the person that I knew. Is it possible that this thing was manipulating her in some way? Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm definitely not killing myself. My life's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the sword lady said we're supposed to use See? science to save the next civilization, right? So we need to come up with a way to predict the next stable era and how long it'll last. Predict it. Like, like crack. Christ. It's crack for nerds. What have you been playing? Damn. Fuck off, you spot. Keep a whiteboard in your flat. Yeah, that's my work. I have a whiteboard in my... I would say that you're just shit, but I haven't done any better. Whatever, the aliens or whatever so who's to coming to destroy us? Yeah. I can't I wait till he puts his on. They're having the they're having the humans figure out all the problems with them coming to Earth. I can see that. Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon. Because remember, the most famous invasion story of all time is War of the Worlds, right? H.G. Wells or whatever. Yeah, yeah. All the aliens were defeated by the common code. Yeah. So, so we have the humans huh. figure out all the aliens' problems. Oh, they're sharing the same space. Yeah. Two-player mode. Hmm. Go ahead. So, yeah, the aliens filling in all the all the human problems. No, they're having the humans figure out all the problems for when they show up. Mm. About them dehydrating because the sun, all the problems that they could have. That way, when they get here to conquer, ain't no problems because. We've already figured out all their weaknesses for them. Okay. Copernicus! See that? How's she gonna respond to the both of them, I wonder? Are you back to save the world? I hope so. So now they're in a two player mode. The Pope is about to make his decision. The Pope? All right, cheers. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I hate gaming with people like that. I'd be like, yo, man, can I get immersed? Please, do you mind if I get immersed in the story? All of them? Every time I died, you better hurry. Yeah, come on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard talking to duplicate. <laughs> I see what you did there. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You'll save me this time, won't you? Dang. So Tudor's England is around what time period? Was that like 13th century, 14th century? Um, I'd have to look it up. King Henry. Holiness. <laughs> Holiness. Pope Gregory. Holy fuck. <laughs> I love how the how the NPCs still kind of like bend the rules for you a little bit. Be like, all right, I'm this person. Behavior of the sun, I will consider it now. I should warn you, though, the proposal that Aristotle and Galileo put forth is quite strong. You saw like the, the, the wooden post over there so they could burn witches at the stake, right? It's off to the left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have made dozens of measurements of the sun's apparent size and luminosity. These do not correlate. Second, I have noticed the sun's position relative to this planet. Oh, you better burn. I have observed more than one celestial body too bright to be a planet moving relative to the fixed background of the stars. The only explanation for these observations is that this planet is part of a three-body star system. Three-body problem. If our planet revolves around one of the suns in a stable orbit, that's a stable era. However, if one of the other suns snatches our planet away, we wander through the gravitational fields of all three suns. This is bullshit, Your Holiness. What? You're about to decide on our proposal? Silence! So that's the three-body problem. I'll be damned. Burn her. Witch. Yep. No, 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 Witch. No, no. Listen, she's got it right. She's got evidence. Wait, I, I gave you the right answer. Oh, I realize the times. Yo, they over there laughing. She's take right. Take it like a man. It's the only theory that makes sense. <laughs> take it like a man. Let her go. What the hell? He's safe in the sky. They just keep on killing this little girl, don't they? Dang. Go take them damn goggles off. Damn. Is that the whole lava? Yeah. Why are we not dead too? Because we were right. But y'all didn't save nobody. Mm, 
Okay. Oh, is that a sword on the back? I'm already paying attention. But in this civilization, you have successfully revealed the basic structure of the star system. The game has now entered level three. Hmm. Didn't seem like a victory. <laughs> Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Jet Set Willy on ZX Spectrum, Strip Poker on Commodore 64. How would you say this game stacks up? Yeah, Commodore 64. No, look, getting it to work, but they did identify some very interesting components. It's got a retinal scanner, an oxygen meter, and a brainwave sensor. Hmm. Deeper biometric data. So while you're playing the game, someone at the other end is playing you. It's a recruitment tool. Hmm. Yeah. A recruitment for war. That part. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's, oh, that's her dude, huh? Hi. Mm -hmm. hey. He's like, I know he's like, what the hell? It's 3 a.m. <sighs> Sorry, babe, I was, um, I was playing the game with Jack. He logged off. Well, it's a mess, I know. Damn, look at your place. You lose your tether when you're not working. There's nothing to be done at work, so I'm just taking my holiday leave. <laughs> like this I had it. a holiday. Mm-hmm. Should I postpone dinner? What? No. Why? You've been dreading meeting my parents for weeks. I haven't been dreading it. She looks like hell. She looks she look like a crackhead. Higher dimensions exist, but we can't perceive them because we're three-dimensional creatures. Hmm. And what's hidden inside that extra dimension? More flat circles. And many more. Layers within layers within layers. A whole universe inside every body. Oh yeah, she tweaking. Well, that's all, um, theoretical. So theoretically, I've just eaten an entire universe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's delicious, Mrs. Vaughn. Well, I think the whole idea is fascinating. Please, tell us more. Well, we don't need to make her do that. Yeah, don't. Mm -mm. But I laid there, slowly freezing until the Pakistani soldiers all came out, and that's when I threw my grenade. I killed them all. That's an interesting dinner talk. Tiny wind tipped the balance of the entire conflict. And it won my father the Paramvir Chakra. Hmm. It's the, the highest military honor in India. Oh, it's like the Medal of Honor, huh? People in the UK, they don't care what you did back in India. <laughs> well, Jin gets the highest civilian honor. Surviving dinner with the Varmas. <laughs> he is death. He is chaos. A funny how yeah my man is matted up right now you gotta <laughs> I might need to let that pass <laughs> where's yours he's on that good stuff yeah the good good we're on the precipice of being first to market with a unique nanofiber technology first to market yes. we've got the finest scientists doing the finest work in the field say for a cso Go ahead, turn around and tell them so you'd be, be crazy. A breakdown. Mm, Go to your room and get your plan and put mental it in. It's a breakdown. Your... You're not this, fit to hold position. We can easily start the project back up again. Yep. Yep, without you. We sponsor your ILR. You can't stay in this country on a work visa if you're not working. Mm. It's not how it bloody well goes. Messing with the money. When those threads are cutting the diamond, it was the threads that was cutting the diamond to show just how strong yeah, they, they said, are. They okay. said those threads like three times smaller than a human hair. Like they were imperceptible to the human eyes. She turned it back on to see if her, I bet if her, the countdown pops back yep. up. Yep. Wow. Dang, yo, that's terrifying. Oof. Now, here's what's even worse. You have the fucking phone. That old dude that be high. Probably in a good weed nap right now. Yeah. Hey. Hey, the countdown came back. Where are you? I'm at home. I'm at home. Oh. 
Are you at home? I'm with someone. Mm-hmm. I'm on my way to you right now. I'll be right there. You're with someone. Augie, I'm, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you as fast. Are they officially together now? No. Okay. I thought you were with Raj. I told him that you just got dumped by your girlfriend. I haven't got a girlfriend. Oh, shit. Where's your headset? Look at her. Crack 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 it. Crack it crack, that's, that's real crackish. I think we're in Shangdu. Sometimes known as... Xanadu. Where Kubla Khan decreed his stately pleasure down. Ah. And there's famously no general solution for it. Unless, of course, you managed to whip one up on the tube ride over. Look. There she is. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Mm-hmm. Come on, the game's this way. Wait. You're running out of chances, Copernicus. Soon the world will end for good. So I guess she's supposed to be like embodying the innocence of the people or the planet or whatever it is, the child. You may observe Sir Isaac Newton and Professor Turing. Maybe you'll learn something for next time. I've developed a science I call calculus. <laughs> he said it so proud too. How many soldiers yeah, are Yeah, but there? that's a pattern. 30 million. I don't know if you ran it like that. But, but they do all know no how way. to hold a flag one way or the other. Ones and zeros. Binary. Mm -hmm. Run solar orbit computation software. Three body 1.0. Why is that what water boiling? Because you already know. You know why it's mm -hmm. boiling. It will all commence in three days. It would last eight months, followed by a stable era of 10,000 years. Soldiers, dehydrate. Eight months and three days! Great Khan, our computer has proven its worth. We've won? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Did they figure it out? Not according to modern physics. They'd still need the starting parameters of all three bodies. Will you shut the fuck up, troll? Damn. Boil them. Hey! No, 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 wait, wait, wait! Oh, oh, get off! Right? I haven't had a chance to explain. Look, Turing and uh, the other dude, I forgot the other dude's name. I'm like, you ain't gonna sit there and just be grinning at me getting boiled all the time. Boiled and burned. Oh, fuck! They're trying to kill us! I'm done with this fucking game! Focus, Rooney! It's all in your head. We're okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot she can control time when she puts her hand on the ground. Both of them can. All in a line. That's just a G. So what? They're eclipsing one another. The planet is no hotter than it was before. What's happened to my army? The cult said survival is everything. That's the object of the game. To help them survive. How the hell do we do that? Nothing can survive here. Civilization number 184 was destroyed by the stacked gravitational attractions of a tri-solar syzygy. But in this civilization, you have correctly determined your true purpose in the game. You have now entered level four. Hey, y'all be winning, but with some serious consequences. Come in. Oh, it's that rich dude, isn't it? Yup. Sir, so we have two. Mr. Uh, Evans, Mr. Evans dude. yeah. It's some individual emotion, yes. For us, fear is something we experience as one. Our ancestors were like that. You have mine. You contacted another planet. Is this the act of a timid species? Not a species, no, my lord. Mm. A woman. I'm just foolish. Mm. Are there other fearless humans? Well, they show up from time to time. And we often look up to them as inspirations for others to follow. A lack of fear leads to extinction. If your ancestors had followed the fearless, you would not exist. Mm. Upgrades, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a DLC. <laughs> I invite you to level four tonight. The Sunset Lounge? <laughs> Dr. Chung, Mr. Rooney, congratulations. You're the only two people in the UK to make it this far. Is that the chick that showed up with Augie and yep. Dr. Chung, Mr. Rooney, 
You made it. Uh, she's not Copernicus no more. You were right. Hmm, good call. And when you know your planet is doomed, what is the solution? Please. Find a new one. Leave. Find a new home. Mm-hmm. Our only chance of survival lies elsewhere. Your and planet. we come in. We knew our destination. We come in. We built we an interstellar fleet in. of a thousand ships. A, a thousand ships. Interstellar. You welcome us, won't you? Yeah, you don't know what you look like. Without your help, we won't make it. Show us your true form. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, they think they slick trying to get a little kid to do it. Ah, uh, don't believe that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> Oh, y'all think y'all slick! I don't quite Hell understand. No. Are you trying to tell us that they're real? We call them the Santi. The first person to make contact with them was from China. And Santi Ren three means three-body people. people in Chinese. And these Santi Ren... Which was the old girl's mama. Four light years away, getting closer every moment. Four they created away. this technology to share their story with us. And they look like that? Well, they've been on their way. Yeah, see, what do they look like? 60 years. Look, look. You're trying to tell us that this game was designed by aliens. Think about it. You said yourself that the tech is 100 years ahead of where we are. Oh, no, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this could be the only explanation that accounts for all of it. Isn't the most simple explanation usually the best? Mm. Yep. Oh, you beat me to it. Wait, Rooney. Don't you want to know more? Oh, come on. This is fucking mental. She's talking about aliens. Dude, look at what we do all day. Mm. All right, fine. fine. I'll tell you what. You do you, and I'll be in the pub when you come to your senses. No, Rooney. Jack. Jack. He'll come around. He's just a shock. Nah, but now she's going to sound like a, just a, a lone crazy nut. Level four champions from around the world. Oh, there's other level four champions. Organization. Huh. Who are the other champs? The flood in Hubei. Before you moved to New Zealand. How do you know about that? We've been reading your that. brain. That's how we know. My parents grabbing me and tossing me onto a piece of door frame. <laughs> My parents being pulled under by the currents. Ugh. That's crazy, dog. That's it. It's the last time I ever saw them. Mm. If one of us live, we all live. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking Vodafone. You said no to the wrong people. You got no internet. I'm warning you. That's how it makes it look. Them cameras don't mean like, Make it look like you, you killed yourself. You said I was free to go. You were? All right, that's it. Get out of my house. <laughs> oh. Get off me! <laughs> All you had to do was keep playing. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I liked him. Man, we need to make it past episode three. Ah! Well, hell. Yeah. Listen. Damn. D and D. We are back to Game of Thrones level. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Yo, and then she just disappears. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Oh, oh, yuck, you hate to see it. <laughs> oh, I liked you, man. Ah. <laughs> uh, not that the other characters aren't good, but I did like him. Uh, all right, so I had said earlier uh, during the first episode, I said the the question is enough to keep me intrigued for at least three episodes. I was like, I'll give you three episodes of just, you hit me whatever it is, and then I can decide from there. And right now, I'm still on board. I am happy that they did a certain couple of things, and one of them is 
they hit us with some really high level thinking regarding, you know, creating binary systems in order to break these codes and stuff. And it could be a snooze fest if we're just being honest. But then they, they brought in the action and they brought in the why and they explained the aliens and now I'm back on board again. Have they continued to just keep hitting me over the head with the binary stuff and the three body problems with all that? I, I understand. I have a good general understanding of what they're trying to get at, but that's just not good TV, right? That's just not. I need something to keep me kind of locked in and aliens is a good way to go about it. So with that being said, with these three in, I'm still all in. I'm still intrigued enough. I still don't think this is a 10 out of 10 project. It's not that, but I am still very much intrigued. How are you feeling? I feel differently. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think we're, we're in the same, we're in the same stadium, but maybe not on the same field. Uh, everything you just said, I agree for episode one. It was snooze fest, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm about to check out." Like, because <laughs> it it is it is very high level thinking, and I'm usually down for that. But it was like I was I wasn't getting it. Episode two picked up, and I was like, "Oh, okay." This episode, mm -hmm. home run. Okay. Okay, I'm, you got a home I'm, run. I'm, I'm I'm with it now. Bet. And it was and so my kids called me sadistic, and they said because most of my anime and most of the stuff I I watch, it took me a while to think of things that I I watch that don't involve a lot of killing. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I just I like, like what I, I like. I might have a problem, maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. So it wasn't the fact that that Rooney got clipped at the end. Mm -hmm. That's a plus. Mm. The fact that they spent all that time trying to figure out the problem, but I was wrong in my approach. Okay. They were trying to figure out, because like the little girl said, most of the people had to be left behind, right? Mm-hmm. If one of your best and brightest people can figure out how to predict the chaotic period and know how long and all this stuff happens, then maybe we don't have to leave our planet. But just in case, when you hit us up on the celly mm -hmm. and back in 1967, mm -hmm. We own the way already. <laughs> they said, they said, who are they? We already, yeah, we already <laughs> on the highway. From what we see, we got four miles left to go. We almost <laughs> there. But if in the meantime, if y'all can figure out our little problem, then we can call back home and let them know, hey, this is what's going to be like. Everybody don't have to come here. But if y'all can't figure it out, um, we just going to pull up and we got a new spot to live. <laughs> it's an interesting ticking time bomb, right? Like that, that yeah. is one of the most magnificent premises is like, we didn't just come to conquer. You know, we, we weren't running out of this. We weren't running out of that. Our world is dying. I mean, hell we accepted it for Superman. Mm. Oh, but he came we he came in a pod by himself and mm. even though he clearly outclasses every other human on this planet mm. we accepted it because hell he landed in kansas and he's a good red-blooded american citizen mm. good old caucasian man we love him mm. he's for the red white and blue truth justice in the american way even though none of those things actually exist uh, <laughs> We love Superman. Uh, so now we're going to send our whole planet of Viltrumites. I mean, uh, yeah. Kryptonians. I mean, Kryptonians, Viltrumites, you're right. Yeah. I mean, and that's, that's the same thing. But I mean, really, if one Viltrumite Kryptonian showed up, you know, and then we didn't have the government trying to dissect them and take them apart. Right. Um, 
just to let them live as normally. And here's the thing. Why would we think now a superior species? And there's no way that you cannot say these people who have been doing interstellar travel for the last 60 years, mm-hmm. probably in suspended animation or something, they about to pull up on our planet when meanwhile, we can't have a, a, a cell phone that won't drop signal or whatever. <laughs> they yeah. are clearly, they are clearly superior to us. Right. We go out of our way to show the other species on this planet that we as human, because we have opposable thumbs, we are superior to them. We even have it so, we are even so rude with it that we like, you know what? What do you think is the strongest animal out there? Lion, tigers, bears? Oh my, we gonna put them in this little cage thing for you to come by and look at them whenever you like. Mm-hmm. And throw bread at them and bring your little badass kids to come around and look at all these things that we are superior for. Listen, mm-hmm. we didn't invite some people to the barbecue and they about to come with all the sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And yeah. before we know it, we going to be in the cages for them to look at when they invite all their cousins back from three body problem planet. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's an interesting parallel, man. There's just a parallel to what you're saying. And that is the, the young man that's sick. Um, I forgot his name, the one that has cancer. And, right. Uh, he said in his fever dream, he was like, I'm talking to the cancer. And he's like, listen, if you can, I'll let you stay in this little small part of my pancreas. If you could just let the rest of me live. It's, it's a parallel with that. You know, it's like these aliens are coming and they're like, well, you know, we coming to take over the body. We coming to take mm-hmm. over the planet. But if yeah. you, we'll give you one last Hail Mary. And if you can figure out this equation, you know, maybe things might might go a little bit different. But at the end of the day, that young man knows he's going to die. He's not living mm-hmm. in a space of delusion. He's living in a space of reality. His friend, the one who just got done, you know, getting choked out and slammed through on a, on a piece of glass, lives in a, felt, in a fake reality. He doesn't, he's, he's, a, he's a man child. And he's over here giving this young man pipe dreams when the reality is you're dying. The reality is this planet is dying. You know, their planet is dying and they're coming to, to take over like a cancer. So there's a cool, interesting parallel with that, with, 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 with how that's, that's going down. My question to you is why would an advanced species want to get it? scientific advice from somebody who's not even smart enough to understand the tech that they sent there. That's like the equivalent of me going back to the stone ages and asking a caveman to be like, Hey, can you help fix my internet? You know, I, that's the part that's a little weird. There's a bit mm-hmm. of a disconnect for me, but I do see what they're doing in the game. They're taking old time periods to kind of maybe answer that question for me. We've gone everything from Kublai Khan's era to some early, uh, um, uh, the, the the tutors era and you're talking about high level concepts to people that don't understand that the principle of it within the game so there's something to that i still haven't been able to figure out that question why would you ask somebody stupider than you to solve a high level problem i'm curious what you think because they're not stupider than than them you called us up you can't be that stupid you reached out across the stars and hit us on the cell phone we thought y'all was some some uh some just rotten stinking apes uh mm-hmm. like all whovians know like our our, our good doctor <laughs> said but it's almost like um was it the avengers okay and it was one of those things where um i don't know if it was nick fury or somebody said you know like once the avengers once people with powers showed up yeah and y'all started doing all this extra stuff on earth Mm -hmm. it let the rest of the galaxy let the rest of the universe know oh um we thought y'all was a low level little mud ball but apparently y'all open for business right um and that's kind of is if you reach out upon the stars and you get a call and it's like wait a minute we thought y'all were cave people lived in the huts on that little mud ball. Mm-hmm. Y'all have the capabilities to call us? Oh. Okay, well, if y'all got that, well, hold on. 
let me give y'all a little math problem. Let me give you a little problem. See how how bright you are for real. Okay. You know, and so cause and here's the thing though, when you're locked in on something mm-hmm. on a problem, okay. Sometimes you do call somebody from outside of the room. Ooh, what do you think about this? Right. And as somebody that has that out of the box thinking, or somebody who just, you know, a fresh pair of eyes on it, they're like, mm, okay, let me, mm, okay, yeah, you know, and you're like, damn, it's been staring me in the face the whole time, but I didn't see it, and that's all that they're doing here, putting some fresh eyes on it. Somebody from the Tudors period cannot fix my internet. I'm okay. I'll yeah, but it's out. not. But it's no. That that is again. We're going back to that mental, mental thing. Right. These are periods that these people like. These are periods that, and all it is, this game, level one, level two, level three, this right. is to make you feel more comfortable. That whole tutors period, yeah. that that was for him. He dropped right into that because that is, remember, they're monitoring them too. That made him right. feel comfortable. That's the period that he's like, oh, whatever. And not only that, you know, they had him, lining up and matching their theories against uh what they have galileo aristotle yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying like you had Alan some Turing, of the yeah, all of that. greatest yeah, yeah. greatest minds you know oh we invented this little thing that i call calculus <laughs> right you know right. They, they're like bruh do you know what we do all day we out here playing with the collider like we didn't master that and trigonometry and this and that we are physical theoretical physicists like Bruh. I I hear you, but I, I I'm I'm telling you, if I if I were to go to the dark ages, they're not fixing my internet. I don't care how smart they are, they're just not. They're not. They're not. Yeah, but that, but that, that's <laughs> I the barely thing. even understand my internet, and I'm of this time period, you know. But so so that's that. So but that leads me to to bring another another question. So we maybe we're judging this this alien invasion coming in as just one unit thing this one thing but there is a key that that was given to us a little bit earlier in episode one and that was somebody got the signal first and Mm -hmm. they said i am a pacifist i'm just telling you don't send the signal back out because it's going to go down and she was like nah i'm Mm -hmm. gonna send the signal out and now everybody's coming which leads me to believe that there's two different versions of this alien race that's coming you got the one that's like oh we got a spot we out and then we got the pacifists and whatever group that he's with. And I believe and my theory, if I'm wearing my tinfoil hat, is that he's talking to Mike Evans, who is also a pacifist, who's sitting out there in the middle of the woods saving trees. They both got together and he was like, listen, they're coming. I don't know if you could solve this, but if you could figure out this problem, maybe they'll come back. I don't think that the entire species is looking to Earth to save them. It, does, it doesn't feel like that because that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. No, I mean, for me, no, for me, it's like, we, why would you why would you go back to somebody that that can barely understand, you know, like that, like the love the guy just said is five generations of technology ahead and they keep repeating that over. Like, how are you going to fix something like that? You know, it's it's almost an impossible task. So it makes me wonder. I'm like, well, what are the intentions of these aliens? And also, what are the intentions of Mike Evans? There's a whole other. I know we're kind of going off the reservation. It's just a really good uh Really good conversation, but go ahead. What, what, what's your thought regarding? That? Okay, a couple of things. Okay. So, the Evans guy. Okay. How did he even get involved? Because old girl sent the signal. <laughs> right? The Chinese girl <laughs> sent the signal. She's on a, you know, what I'm saying a work detail. She's on a prison camp. Okay. How did he even get involved? He was living in the same place, but how did he get involved? So there's a story there between him and her that we don't even have yet. How did he get involved? Because right. he was broke as hell living in the, in, the, in the trees. And now he's one of the richest people on earth. Right. Something there we missing. Right. Um, <laughs> part, part two. Okay. Of course you're right that the alien species is not a monolith. Mm-hmm. Because as, Amer- as people, we aren't. Right. We don't agree with people that live in the next neighborhood, let alone the next <laughs> town over. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, that's like, that's like saying... Right now, we as all Americans, mm-hmm. whatever race, creed, color, social, economic, all that, that we agreed if the orange man said, hey, our military, <laughs> we going to do a space force and we going to go and invade this other planet. I mean, you got your rabbit ass man. 
<laughs> we didn't even want you to build the wall with your damn name on it. Now we go. <laughs> So that's the same thing. There's no okay. way the 8 billion people on earth would all agree with one plan. Okay. Unless, unless, no, I can't even say that. Because we know for a fact right now so like that this planet is, this, no, but I'm saying we know for a planet right now that this planet is dying and we killing it. And we can't agree. Uh, the cl climate warming and all that, that's, that's fake news and all this stuff. Meanwhile, it's the same people who tell you it's fake news that will go and dump 10 billion worth, things worth of oil and trash and plastic in the sea mm. and all of those type of stuff. They're clear cutting the forest, which, hey, we need the trees to create oxygen so that we can live, you dummies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it's that type of stuff. As long as they're getting paid, they don't care because, hey, they got their own little consortium. They uh, got their own little satellites. And, you know, we think uh, Elon uh, Musk is building rockets to go on the moon just because he's bored. No, <laughs> he didn't have his own satellite. And he been out, out here dialing up these people on different planets and stuff. <laughs> we coming. He's like, oh, hold on. Let me get my shit together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because here's the thing. If you know your plan is dying, mm -hmm. they didn't came up on this other plan. They didn't came up with this plan to go find another planet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do we know not know that the same thing is happening here? Hmm. We know the plan is dying, and those people with the money and the power, and then how we know they're not scouting other planets and sending off secret rockets and scout and probe missions and all this stuff? Because hmm. all of a sudden now, after 50, 60 years, we interested in going back and checking out the moon. Now we're getting real serious about Space Force and hmm. going to check out Mars and all this other shit. We got a dude who's putting rockets in his backyard and, you know what I'm saying, just, okay, <laughs> sure. And then on top of that, old girl, she decided to quit playing a game. I want to know more. The old dude's like, y'all tripping. I'm on my way to the bar. <laughs> and he got clipped. Got and, she clipped. Got an and she got an invitation to the organization. Mm. It's turning it feels like some uh some Katniss Everdeen. You had to meet the other contestants as you play for the right to pick up the pieces of your broken plan. Or while we busy, we busy, you know, arguing about which celebrity is in the Illuminati and all this other mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> mm. You know, those in the know. Why mm. would the normal people, why would we be in the know? Right. It's not, it. what special skills? There the you know like the detective said it's a recruitment tool they're recruiting our best and brightest mm -hmm. if you look at if you look at normal everyday edutainment uh think about 2012 the movie 2012 right with uh john cusack mm -hmm. remember it costs like a billion dollars per person to get on these arc ships because they knew the 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 whatever the floods or the tsunamis all that shit was coming it was going to basically take over the earth or whatever right right and they put them in these caves in tibet or whatever to work on these ships or whatever and they only took the best and brightest they started you know making our own seed banks they're doing like noah's ark taking you know things to make sure that things survived hmm. but they only got our best and brightest people who would benefit humanity living on in some way. Sounds the same to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have no idea like what the what the levels of how their society runs. It could be only the rich of that other of that planet they're able to leave. And maybe, you know, the, the poor that are left behind are throwing out this Hail Mary to look for help. It could be it could be something along those lines. You know, um, we don't know what the intentions are. We don't know what the what what the intentions are even for the group of scientists that are going to be coming together to play this game. I do like that they gamified it. I love stuff like that when they gamify. It feels very anime. Um, but what we do know is that the block is hot. We have our ticking time bomb. We don't know how long they're go they're going to be coming, and we have our hero. I mean, our our hero is 
is um um uh Jin. You know, so we'll see, you know, if she pulls through. She's our Katniss Everdeen. I am excited about it. I am curious what you all think uh, within the chat. Uh, let us know, uh, especially for me. Please, please. I'm, I look forward to have all of my theories taken apart and proven wrong. I love yes. that. Please, yes. please say I absolutely got it wrong and tell me what you think. So let me know uh, what we got right, what we got wrong. And the phone one is always, um, what did we miss? Uh, if you've just been a fan of the conversation, just the way we've been chopping it up, you know, please be a fan of the channel. Hit that hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. We are on episode three. And I think from here on out, we're going to actually start doing some of these conversations in longer form on the Patreon so that we can get a really good, deep, deep dive. I promise you, me, me and Rakai could talk about this for at least another 20 minutes Listen. but <laughs> but we want to save that for some for some future episodes and if you want to know who this brilliant mind is in front of me rakai tell the people how they can get in contact with you Listen, i can't wait to go through the comments because i would love to hear people take apart everything i just said <laughs> or add some new things that i can yes. wrap my mind around and go off on that tangent from because right now you just said it our new hero is jen but that's because she could she decided to keep playing and join the Illuminati, join the organization. <laughs> but what about Augie and Saul? Augie. Or what, and, and what's what's dude's name? The black dude's name? Is his uh, name Saul? Um uh, Saul, yeah, Saul. Saul who What was... about them? Because Saul <laughs> seems like he might Saul seems like he might be the smartest man on this show. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that because they looked to him and was like, please, we need some kind of wisdom. Say, just give us a moment and give you a moment. We need something. So, yeah, I think he's and it's the, probably, uh, the reluctant It's probably why he leader. stays high to, to quiet his brain or whatever. It's probably mm. always working. And, and Augie, like, they refuse to put on the headset. So are they no longer our anchors in this is jen the new one because she's drank the kool-aid she's accepting what's going on now like <laughs> i don't know like there's still so much we don't know so at yeah. any point like you said j that just shows you what you could be missing out on on patreon and from here on out we gonna continue this high level thinking from a couple low level dudes listen <laughs> I'm trying to get in the organization too. Listen, if, it, if that's what it takes to be safe, listen, I, I will save that little girl. You heard me? <laughs> you can catch me on all social media at Nuke from the Ville, N U P E F R O M D A V I L L E, because all about this right here. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. And I am really. Looking forward to chopping this up uh, for the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care. Thanks.